Hey everybody, it's Mr. Vivi, Ms. Sangarasa. Uh, we're gonna talk about the three different types of chemical bonds today, and we have a cute video with some puppies. Who doesn't love puppies? Uh, I know, I know. They're, they're gonna teach us a little bit about a couple of those types of bonds, so please enjoy. Welcome to Dogs Teaching Chemistry. Our first lesson is chemical bonding. Chemical bonds are what holds atoms together. A chemical bond is an attraction between atoms that allows the formation of a chemical substance. The electrons that participate in a chemical bond are called valence electrons. These are electrons that are found in an atom's outermost shell. Let's take a look at the types of chemical bonds that can be formed between atoms. An ionic bond is formed when one of the atoms will lose its electron to the other atom. This results in a positively charged ion, called a cation, and a negatively charged ion, called an anion. Positive and negative attract, and the result is an ionic bond. All right, cool, so that was ionic bonds, and if I'm understanding correctly, it is between a metal and a non-metal, and it's where valence electrons are transferred from a metal to a non-metal, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. So what are some properties of ionic bonds that I should know about? So ionic bonds form ions, which means that they can conduct electricity. They have charges, so you can move the electricity through. Okay. Okay? They also form crystalline lattice structures, which are brittle, so they break easily. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, They're pretty strong, too, so they have high melting points and boiling points. Awesome. Well, I guess let's look at the next type. Perfect. Cool. Covalent chemical bonds involve the sharing of a pair of valence electrons by two atoms. That's really cute. Those puppies were sharing that toy, just like covalent bonds share electrons. Yeah. Right? Covalence electrons sharing electrons. That's why there were two balls, because you're sharing two valence electrons, one from each gotcha. atom. Okay. So what are some properties I should know about covalent bonds? So covalent bonds are weaker than ionic bonds, okay. and they're also not conductive. So there's no ions formed, they can't transfer electricity. Got it. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it with types of bonds, right? We got ionic and covalent. No, we got one more. What? Metallic bonds. Oh, metallic bonds. So metals and nonmetals is ionic. Nonmetals and nonmetals is covalent. Metallic bonds, what are, what are we talking about here? So what do you think of when I say metallic? Well, I, I think of metal, of course. Yeah, metals. So between metals. So okay. Multiple atoms of the same element. Of the same element. So like multiple gold atoms or multiple silver atoms. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, any cool properties you want to tell us about metallic bonds? So metallic bonds, the valence electrons are shared in an electron C. So they're free flowing from atom to atom. I and this it. also makes them conductive because we're moving charges. Naturally. Okay. They're also um, malleable. Like I can hammer them into a thin sheet. Exactly. I did my key terms beforehand. And they're ductile. Ductile, whoa, what does that mean? So ductile means to roll or pull into a thin wire. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Uh, so cool, so to recap, we've got the strongest bonds are ionic bonds between metals and nonmetals. Exactly. Covalent bonds are the second strongest between nonmetals. And then we've got metallic bonds, which are only between metals of the same element, and those are the weakest ones. Exactly, right? cool. I think we got it. Awesome, hope you guys got it too. <laughs> 